How's everyone doing today? Today we are working on a 2019 Kia Optima. The, this vehicle came with a broken sensor, uh, the left front uh, sensor. So we're gonna go ahead and replace it with an aftermarket. Uh, so first, we're gonna grab the aftermarket sensor. And today we have this uh, Pro Hybrid 2.0 sensor. I'm gonna grab my TPMS4 and I'm going to go on the uh, replace sensor option. We're going to select Kia Optima 2019 programmable. And on this list, we're going to select UPro. And it says use UPro Hybrid 2.0 is exactly what we have. And we know that because it says it right here. Hybrid 2.0. Our tool says copy ID, copy set of sensors, create sensor, manual ID. We're gonna go ahead and create sensor. And it shows to display, to display the sensor right in front of the antenna and press the start button. Here we go, uh, the tool itself created the ID for the sensor and it says successful. So we're gonna go ahead and install this sensor in the wheel and we're gonna come back and we're gonna re relearn the vehicle with an Apollo diagnostic tool. So the sensor that we just programmed, uh, we went and go, uh, installed it inside the tire. So it's time for us to relearn the vehicle. So with the TPMS4, we're gonna go down to relearn, select Kia Optima 2018 to 2019. And we're gonna select relearn TPMS and scanner. So here it gives you the instructions. We're gonna press next. And we're gonna gather all the sensor information from the tires. So we're gonna start at the left front. Go to the next one. Right rear. And then the last, left rear. Now we can go ahead and uh, connect our diagnostic tool. And then we're going to have to implement all the sensor IDs that we just gathered into the scan tool and then transfer it to the ECU of the vehicle. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, here I have the Apollo D8 from Snap-on. We're going to go ahead and connect it. Make sure ignition is on position. Okay, we're gonna go select scanner. Kia. Automatic. Optima. Okay. Here we're gonna drop down. All the way down. And then here we're gonna select tire pressure monitor. On the next page we're gonna come down to system test. And then right here where it says wheel sensor ID writing, we're gonna select that. Here we're gonna hit continue. And then here it gives us the options for the front left, front right, rear right, rear left. We're gonna select front left first. With eight. Select ID number. And then here we're gonna grab our TPMS4 and then read off the ID number from there and transfer it to the diagnostic tool, so. Okay, once we have the ID number written, we're gonna select enter. 
as you can see we have the same exact id from the tpms4 we're going to select ok writing success if you want to check the new sensor id please continue okay so then we're going to follow the same procedure for front right rear right rear left once we're uh, finished writing all the sensor ids and the sensors are transferred to the to the ecu with this vehicle in particular we have to drive it for 10 minutes for the vehicle to learn itself thank you for watching have a good day